Good morning, class. Let us all stand and can someone please lead us in prayer. Thank you. How is everyone? I hope you are all well. Today, we will learn a new lesson. It's all about electricity. But first, we will discover what is the basic concept of electricity. The basic concept of electricity is the flow of electrical power or charge. Before we proceed to our discussion, we will watch a short video showing the importance of electricity in our everyday lives. Specifically, we will answer the questions, how does electricity work? Is it possible to transfer from one object to another? Now let us all watch the video. We use electricity for almost everything. We use it to wash our clothes, keep our homes comfortable, enjoy entertainment, and protect our food and medicines. Every day, we're adding new power-consuming devices that we're increasingly dependent upon. One of the fastest growing demands on energy is the cloud. A huge collection of wireless transmitters, data centers, and factories where devices are built, each with huge power demands. With all of our devices constantly accessing the cloud, along with new technologies like cyber and cryptocurrencies, we must continue to generate a massive flow of electricity just to keep our modern lives functioning. So how does electricity work? Why don't we find out through an activity? Would you like that? Okay, I think you'll enjoy this one very, very much. So the first thing I want you to do is to go with your groups and sit together. Group leaders, please come up here in front and get your materials. There will only be one box for every group. Now before we start, let us remember CAR. There are three letters, C-A-R. We have to remember to be careful, aware, and responsible. Make sure that you do not damage any of the materials and you do not hurt yourselves or any of your classmates, okay? Okay, now I want you to take out the materials from every box. So does everyone have their materials now? Okay, good. So I want you to take out your materials. So the first things you will see there are your batteries. So every group should have their pair of batteries, their battery holder, their light bulb holder, and of course the bulb. So you have to be very careful with that. Your wires. There should be three pairs of wires for every group. How many are your wires? Can you count? Okay, it's all complete. Next you have your um, switch. Okay. Now, I want us to do this together, so I will instruct you step by step and follow after what I do. Okay, first, I want you to take your light bulb holder and your bulb. So, I want you to screw that bulb in very carefully, so you don't want to squish it, okay? Make, it, make sure it's secure. And then, I want you to take your batteries. Now, every battery has a positive and a negative side. So the positive side is this side, and then the negative side is this one, the flat one. Now looking at your holders, there should be signs there of where the positive should face. So you just plop that in there, okay? And you, you do the same with the other side. Okay, now make sure it's secure. And the next, the next thing you have to do is to take one, one wire, okay? And then using the round end of the wire, you plug it in into your light bulb holder. Okay. Then using the clip end, you clip one into this side of your battery holder. Okay, let's clip them on there. And then you take one more wire, and then you, you take this time the flip side. You clip it here. So you have to loosen up that knot so that you can clip your wire down there. So this is for safety that you don't ground yourselves, okay? 
Make sure that there are no wet fingers in there, working on there, okay? Next, we have to plug the round side here in our switch. Now, now that all of the three are connected, why don't we try lowering down the lever, okay? Let's see if something happens. Okay, ready? Are you ready? One, two, three. Did your bulb slide up? No? Okay, that's because this circuit is still open. It's still not connected. So we still have to use one more wire. Now, using this wire, you use the round end and you plug it in. Here's a switch. And then clip this side to your battery. Okay, now that all the three is connected, may I see everyone's circuits? Okay, looking good. Now, I want us to do this together. So why don't we lower this lever together in three, two, one. Okay, did your bulbs light up this time? Okay, mine did too. Okay, classes, did you enjoy doing the activity? Because I certainly did. Okay, so that was an electric circuit. So was there movement of electricity or flow of electricity in that small setup? Okay, yes, there was. Now, what parts of the electric circuit did you pick up along the way during our activity? Okay, so let's learn more about that in our discussion. So I will now show you a PowerPoint presentation. Okay, children, right now let's go to know what is the meaning of electric circuit. So what is an electric circuit? So an electric circuit, children, is a device that gives energy to the charged particles constituting the current, which make it possible for electric chargers to move from one object to another. This is, this is, so to simply explain, children, an electric circuit is a device that gives energy to a device for it to function. Okay, so, so to further understand what is an electric circuit, let us know its four parts. So the four parts of electric circuit are energy source, load, the switch, and the wire. So let us first know what is an energy source. So energy source, this may come for in the form of battery or a generator. In this case, you can see a battery. So the next one is the switch. So anyone has any idea or everyone has an idea of a switch, correct? So in this case, a switch, it controls the flow of electricity from the source, just like the switch in our house, in our light bulb or in our electricity as well. So the next one is the load. So the load, just like the bulb in our home, it uses up the electricity. So it is the one that uses the electricity from the load or from the battery. And the last one is the wire. So it serves this as the connection for the current to move or for the bulb to light up. And next one, children, let us know what are the types or the examples of an electric circuit. So I have two here. First is the open and the closed circuit. Let us know what is an open circuit. So an open circuit didn't allow for the flow of electricity because of the gaps. So the open circuit is what you have experienced earlier in the activity. So the second process is an example of an electric circuit where you connected the wire from the dead end of the battery and it has no connection or it has gaps. Okay, so the next one is the closed circuit. So all the wires were connected and there was a clear path for the current to move. So unlike the open circuit, the closed circuit were all work, were the, wire connect, the wires were all connected so that there, there are current that makes a thing or just for example again the bulb to function or to light up. So did you understand John since I have given you the four, four parts of electric circuit and the types of an electric circuit. Okay, so right now, children, we're going to have an activity called Zap It Here. So earlier, you have created a model, correct? So right now, in a piece of paper, each and every one of you will going to draw that model that you have created earlier and label each part 
of the electric circuit or of the motor. Understood? Okay. For the first part of our assessment today, fill in the blanks with numbers that correspond to the missing parts of the diagram. As you can see there, number one, we have their switch. Number two, we have their bulb. And lastly, number three, we have their battery. For our second part, list down five activities that involve the use of electricity in your everyday life. And for the last part of our assessment today, in your own words, differentiate an open from a closed circuit. Is there any clarification and questions? If there is none, I assume that you are all ready to take the assessment. You may start now. Is everyone finished? Please pass your papers forward. I hope that you have learned our lesson well. That's all for science class today. Thank you and goodbye class!